Welcome, Welcome back, back to BSC TV. Our journey through a brand new domestic season starts today. We take a look at how the Blues have fared so far in the ISL and we talk to the head coach about the upcoming AFC Champions League. We catch up with the boys who have returned and we also go check out the inter-school soccer shoot. So the Blues had at least a player each in each ISL team and they managed to grab a few goals and assists as the Indian Super League reached the summit clash. Atletico de Kolkata and Kerala Blasters take each other on the final this Sunday at Kochi. And here are some quick numbers from the Blues tracker. CK Vineeth is the top scoring Blue in this season's competition, having taken the tournament by storm. With five goals in eight games, that makes him the season's top Indian scorer as well. Young Malsunzwala and our midfield magician Eugene Sinlindo were on the score sheet for their respective teams, Delhi Dynamos and FC Pune City. Mumbai City FC were spearheaded by our skipper Sunil Chetri. He, along with Udanta, Shwante and Amrinder, led the team to the semi-finals, bowing out to Keegan Pereira's Atletico following a 3-2 aggregate loss. Kerala, meanwhile, have entered the finals of the ISL after a penalty shootout win over the Delhi Dynamos. So it's Keegan Pereira versus CK Vineet and Reno Anto this Sunday. And that's a wrap from the Blue Strike. We're in the AFC Champions League this year. And we face Alvedad from Jordan in the preliminary round two. We spoke to our head coach Albert Roca and got his thoughts on the game. Well, it's a Jordanian team, which means that uh, it's going to be a very strong Jordania in terms of rank as a country. It's uh, it's uh, much better than us. We have to to tell the truth. So and there is one, only one leg, only one game. So uh, position and uh, and the game it's gonna be really really hard for us, uh, for sure. It was good for us, you know, to arrive at that final because uh, we can show to our fans and to the world that the Indian football is uh, getting better. And uh, our mission is uh, it's keep uh, that level and try to even to 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 be better. And uh, it's not easy because uh, it, it, it was it, it happens only once, you know. So uh, and we have to continue in that line. So let's uh, be honest; it's not going to be easy. But at the same time, we have to be brave. We have to uh, look forward to do uh, our best. And uh, I hope that our supporters understand that situation, and they will support us. They did, you know, in the past. So, Alexa, good to have you back. Thank you. What have you been up to? I've just been trying to keep myself busy, to be honest, you know, watching some other sports while the domestic season was on break. And now that that's over and the boys are back... We caught up with Cameron Watson, John Johnson and Daniel at training. Hey, I've just been seeing my friends and family, you know, um, just relaxing really. Played a bit of, bit of um, winter golf actually while I was home. <laughs> it was a bit flooded but the weather was cold so it's nice to come back to some sunny weather. I uh, got engaged. So, um, yeah, proposed to my girlfriend of eight years, so I think it's been a long time coming. Um, so, yeah, she was happy, um, everyone at home was happy, and um, just another step towards, I uh, guess, getting married. It's, it's really a good feeling to be back here, and, you know, uh, Bangalore is now, I think, uh, it's like a uh, home, home now for me. So now we're back to hard work, preparing for the new season, uh, looking forward to it. Even after a couple of weeks at home, you always look forward to coming back to training, you know, being around the boys and being around that environment that, you know, we're so used to. The, the main dream is, is just to win the league again and, you know, hopefully uh, to achieve as much as we can. And, you know, we are going to play uh, the AFC Champions League playoff. I think uh, it will be amazing if we qualify for the, for the group stage. And I'm really looking forward for the good season and, and healthy season. I bet Cameron Watson has broken a lot of hearts in Bangalore with that news. Hang in there, buddy. The BFC Inter-School Soccer Shield Tournament is underway and we went over to Game Changer to watch the Under-8 and Under-10 Finals. This tournament is very good for kids. This is the second edition BFC. BFC has done a very good job. The organizers you support, they encourage the small kids. This is the best for them. I'm very happy. I would like to thank my, my, my coach and principal uh, for helping us come till here and win the tournament. We had morning practices in our school and that's very good to play over here in BFC Cup and we are very proud. I am very happy to see him playing in a big 
like platform like BFC, whether they are getting uh, the cup or not, they have to have the exposure. See, in India, it happening. It's much, much better for for the country, uh, for the football, and uh, for the club as well. It's brilliant uh, to see the kids fighting for every single ball and making things happen. It's, it's unbelievable. We are well prepared for this tournament and well organized by the BFC. It's, we are proud to play for this tournament. Bangalore FC is the number one in India now. In progress, we'll be doing a lot of things. My time was a difficult, difficult time. We, we need to be joining in the we need to join in the, in the football clubs and take from there. Now it's a fantastic facilities, great opportunity for young kids as well. So that's it from us this week. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. See, See you, you next time. time.